All right, guys. I basically done for the day until tomorrow. One, one last day tomorrow, and I'll be finally done. I can focus 100% of the time here with you guys. Let me share my screen. Apparently, they say they passed the tax bill, but US dollar is still trending down. Uh, gold is still up on the daily. There's a reason why I'm following the daily. I mean, you can see that it's been creating up, uh, an uptrend on the four hour here. Uh, prices we'll be looking for will be the 1267, 1270, and a possible 1275. Damn. Okay, you guys are like. Okay. Okay, so let's look at the dollar index. Uh, you can see here on the daily, it's this is the second red candle coming back down. Like I just want to anticipate here from yesterday. Uh, going back down 93.4, we're looking for the 93 to break down to 92.6 here on the lower band, on the daily band here. Uh, let's look at the 4-hour here on the dollar index. You can see it's tremendously going down. The tax bill has really no effect as of what's going on right now. So either way whether it's passed or not there's still a lot of work that needs to be improved and needs to be worked on especially with with the corporate tax cuts and the business taxes so that's another issue that they're working on you can see here a uh, house representative approved sweeping tax legislation sending the final bill to the senate where lawmakers were due to take up the package of tax cuts later in the evening so later in the evening I don't know. I really don't foresee anything good for this whole week for US yet. GDP back up. G the pound is back up. Um it did bottom out at 133, what? 133, 133.4. It's back at 133.8. We're looking for 134 to 134.6 on the upper band on the four hour here. Okay. Um, Euro USD, Euro USD has been pretty strong this week. Uh, it's been breaking out quite a bit. You can see the strong uptrend here. Four green solid candles broke out here. I'm looking for two more breakouts to go up to 119 here. Okay, looking for 119 for tonight. If not, a 118, uh, 118 600, 118 800 here. That's what I'd be looking at. Um, USD JPY going back down after it hit 113. You can see the resistance that it's created coming right back down here. I am expecting to sell it for the BOJ, the Bank of Japan. They're releasing an interest rate decision and a monetary policy meeting. I am expecting for that. So um, it is going to affect all yen pairs. So like Euro JPY, GBP JPY. I know they're up right now because of Euro and the pound. But I would be very careful on that because the yen's probably going to and try to deliver something hawkish and positive for the for the Japan economy. Um, I won't send any um, any red news alerts until the last hour. Now, let's see here. USD CAD is dropping back down. It did hit one two nine one one two nine two. But now it's back down to 1287, trending back down. We are looking for 1276 for the lower band price of 1276, 1278. USD Swiss franc is going back down. Uh, it's at, it's at 98.5, but we're looking for 98.4 and 98.2. Gold, yeah, like I said, gold, I don't know why I have gold on here. We're always talking about gold and dollar index already. Like I said, I'm expecting, like I said, the dollar is trending right back down where, where it started. It couldn't, like I said, it barely, it barely, it did go up to 94, but it didn't stay there. And you can see where it's downtrending. So we're looking for a strong downtrend for the week for U.S. dollar and the U.S.D. pairs. And um, Euro has been really strong this week. Uh, New Zealand's been pretty strong. Uh...
uh, let's see, uh, the pounds up and down. I mean, there's still some UK talks. Uh, other than that, uh, Euro has been by far the strongest gains for positive traction. So along with Euro JPY, other than that, uh, New Zealand is the second strongest that I've seen so far. And gold, gold's been pretty strong too, but it's been hovering around 1260. So uh, waiting for that dollar index to break down to 92.9, 92.8 .9, around there. It needs to break that 93, uh, 93 handle, which it will. And you can see how much it's already trending down already. So I don't expect anything to get out of that tax bill. There's still much more work to be done with the tax bill and the voting. And so that depends if the Senate decides to even let it go. So they don't, like I said, I really don't expect too much out of the tax bill. There's a lot of concerns already with that.